Good day to all of you. Our topic for today is scrubbers. Sheep scrubbers. They installed recently in dry dock. What is a scrubber? Scrubber is for South gas cleaning system. Codename EGCS. This our type of scrubber is open loop are used to remove particulate matter and harmful components such as sulfur oxides SOx and nitrogen oxides NOx from the exhaust gas generated means from the main engine going to the air outside or the generator the exhaust of generator going outside we will they will put a scrubber to reduce the content on generated result combustion process in the main engine to implement pollution control okay first familiarization of the system second what is ruffles inside the scrubber and the cleaning of demister setting times then flow correction to lower or to increase the value and then the sulfur limits they explain it at the right side it has a take control for this we have two HMI one at the engine room and then one at the scrubber side next we have a sea water it has a speed control controlled by inverters suction from the sea chest and then you can choose speed and then choose a seawater seawater pump one or two and then it has a flow control or flow monitoring also it has a turbinity sensor on it then going to the top going to booster increase the pressure and then the booster going to scrubber the scrubber has a load monitoring also and then it has a nozzles you can see the valves indicated at the tops the name tags and then the sensor and then easily to locate the sensors because the tagging of indicated at the HMI it's the same tagging at outside near or exactly at the sensors also the scrubber have two level sensors for safety then going down to overboard In the overboard before going to overboard it has a turbinity also turbinity sensor pH and the turbinity difference it will compute the in and out turbinity and then the pH and the pH also including the temperature see also our last video it has a calibration of pH and then at the left side we have here main engine load generator loads and you can select bypass or automatic right now it's select scrubber mode it means automatic at the top near the chimney they put a actuator valves that is designed fail safe to control the in or out valve going to the scrubber if suddenly 
close or defective valves it detects and then the other opposite valve will open also it has a sealing fan to seal this valve going to the scrubber and also operated by inverter also at the top of the scrubber this is the important parameters that we monitor CMS ratio we have also the settings we take a look on the videos and then how to adjust the flow correction so that the CMS ratio will adjust it also over energy consumption And then the third blank, this one will yeah. reset the yeah. uh, opening, opening with the, this one will run and then subsequently it should open. Close are open. I already open. Yeah. Okay. okay, you see what the pump starts. If needed, there is two running like now because you are 66-65%. So with okay. the Sika 0.1 you can run with one pump. Up until 64, 65. After that, the, the system needs two pumps, the other one will start up also. So, water goes from sea water pumps, goes up here and to here, to the washing nozzles. Yeah. Some of the water is pulled by the booster pump, going to the booster line and also the pre cooling line. This one up here, uh, here, the bottom. What? This one, here, the spray. Yeah, also spray. Also, uh, what is this quenching line or uh, cooling line? Also. Yeah, we call it booster line, but actually booster it's more cooling. Cooling, yeah. yeah. Cooling, uh, cooling. So yeah. But wh why is it important to cool down the gas? Uh, well, I guess it's. Uh, Otherwise, water will evaporate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and correct. there will be no reaction between the. Uh, sulfur yeah, yeah. and water and, uh, so that's why we have to cool down the gases before mm -hmm. and then the gases rise until this part where is the raffles and you had a sample of the raffles but there, there is a packing bed filled with like thousands or millions like this one what's called this process? Uh, what's called this? Rapos, Rapos, Rapos. And they are just like. Well, well, how does it uh, function? Uh, just draining the, the yeah. water? Water is draining through the. And it gives more surface area to react with the water. Oh, okay. Because otherwise the water will drop too quickly and there is not enough time to reaction to take place. Ah, okay. So that's the whole idea. It's not, not a filter, nothing like this, but it just gives water to find to react with the sulfur in the gases. Rapples. Uh, Rapples. Uh, really By the way, the rapples are that bad, sir. Maybe you mistakenly, beside the stairs, four buttons. Ah! Bad, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe they will drop. Uh, <laughs> those black bugs in the near the stairs. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I will keep that in the side of the box. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you put some water on this for some of so, yeah, there is this packing bed filled with the rubber material. Uh, so, washing took place. The gases rise again. Here are the demister blades. The idea of the demister blades is that they are like a water lock. They are built like... So the gases rise and the water drops back. Yeah, yeah, they are actually a catcher. And this line is for the, the Mr. Gleaning only. Yeah, yeah. There is some carbon deposits and everything in there. So the idea is that it cleans it every 3600 seconds and the cleaning in time is 120 seconds. But you can change them. 
If you can see it's dirty, you can make the cleaning time longer, you can make the interval shorter, you can play around it. What's the size on the water? Uh, maximum 120, uh, we can add uh, 3 minutes, 190. Uh, 1 is a moment. The minimum is 60. But the system will tell you what's the limit. Water comes out. Here is the sensor, PP206. It's showing 0 0.3 bars. When you reach one bar pressure, it gives alarm. Ah, okay. It means that the water level starts to rise. If it's yeah, yeah. one bar, it means that the water level is 10 meters where the, the sensor is installed where the generators are. Mm -hmm. That means the water level is already 10 meters over it. What's the cost? Maybe the bank is a little bit closer? Or? No, probably too much water going in that ah. it doesn't fit down from the pipe. Ah, okay. This uh, overboard pipe is uh, mostly is uh, full open or? Always open. Always full open. open. Yeah. Same inlet. Uh, what, what if, if you what hold up? Uh, if some if you stop this one, two two, two pumps, uh, this valve will be closed automatically. No. Open. Or still open. 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 In the automatic condition, it's always open. Okay. And water goes out. And this uh, one bar alarm is like a pre-warning that soon might be that one of the level switches will activate and stop the pumps. So if you get this alarm, you have to reduce the load and the water. If you reduce the load, the water amount also reduces. Okay, ceiling air fans. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. What if they used to, to do high load because the office want to have this kind of load? Yeah. But how can we reduce the water? How can we reduce the water with From a here. From here. Correction factor. But if correction factor, it affects the ratio also. Might be. You have to check the ratio also. Yeah. Let's try with the correction factor actually. But what, right now. What, what do we have right now? 1.2, it's really good. It's, it's amazing. So. The set, uh, moment. The setting is 4. Uh, settings. You can see from compliance settings, 4.3. No, no, Since the yeah. flow control load is 1.2, so, you can play with it. So now it's we have 1.2, but uh, here is 4.3. 4 4.3 is maximum allowed. So how about again for settings? So now this is only It means 1.2. So you have plenty but, left. Yeah, yeah. If we reach 4.3, then we are already in Yeah, okay, but... 1.3. We can go down to 0.5, right? Or point something, so that... No, no, you can go down until to the zero. That's completely fine. Ah, okay. As long but as that the office doesn't like it because it consumes too much energy. Yeah, but if you want to sleep well, you keep it somewhere close to 3 and good enough. <laughs> but... Chief, if you change it to the 0 0.8, let's let's yeah. see what happens. I will change it. Yeah, let's put how much? 0 0.8. Enter. Yeah, and let's see what happens. What point it, it will take a little bit time to get there. It's that uh, we have lots of allowance, right? Allowance. So that allowance. Yeah. yeah. Usually if we are uh, say, uh, this uh, 0 0.5. <laughs> yeah, yeah with 0.5 you have no problem with the ratio. The only thing you have to check on 0 0.5 that the pH is okay. If the pH is too low, you have to add more water. This is safer but more cut, more consuming energy, right? The ratio is... Uh, yeah, ratio is low. No, you are always compliant. No compliance problem. and then all good. Yeah. No alarms. Far from alarms. And except then. office because they say that yeah. maybe you are. For the sulfur oxide, how much is the maximum? This is not given. Always give the ratio. I can show you what the ratio means actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also here, additional info. You can start or we can start the Mister Cleaning by clicking this button. And also you can choose the intervals time. This flow correction you can select to 0 
to 1.2 as per default setting this one is showing the setting of flow correction and then the next video is for explaining the ratio so for limits Full for fuel oil, the ratio will be 4.3, normally. 0.5 will be 21.7. With the scrubber, you can use 3.5 sulfur, that would be normally 151.7, but you will get the emissions 4.3 or lower, that means that you get the emissions of the 0.1 fuel, from the much heavier fuel. Uh, ratio is calculated value. It's SO2 ppm divided to CO2 percentage. That's just calculated number. How it's so that's why also this with 0.1 mode you have the ratio limit 4.3, 0.5, 21.7. But I this three this three sensor is the one that gas analyzer fit this one or it's different. This three it's different. This three is the main data analyzer. Okay, three. Actually two. It's taking the SO2, CO2, then the ratio is getting SO2 divided to CO2. Uh, the system computed this one. Yeah, it will. But the two sensor is packaged on that gas analyzer. Yes, yeah, one side. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then it's measuring humidity and stuff like this, but you don't get it here. Uh, it has a additional, but it's this two is the yeah. one. Of those the those are important for you. Okay. These are the compliance alarm set points and delays. These are the settings 4.3, then for the 0.5, high 2.1, as they explained. pH LO high and then pH high and turbinity difference. This turbinity difference is the turbinity in going to subscriber and out to the subscriber at the top it's a GPS installed in our system we get signal from GPS and connect to our scrubber system so that when you use a scrubber it monitors what is the position and up position of the ship that's all thanks for watching if this video helps you a lot Please click thumbs up button and please subscribe and hit the bell button for more videos. Thank you and keep safe. Also like us on Facebook.